Welcome today. It's really great to see so many faces from so many different parts of, uh, of the country and I really hope you get something valuable out of today. And all I really wanted to do was, um, first of all, for those of you that don't know my technology, I just wanted to briefly explain uh, who we are and what we do. And secondly, I kind of wanted to set the scene for today because there's a sort of an overriding theme running through everything and I wanted to sort of explain how that all hangs together. So first of all, um, uh, this is a picture of uh, most of our, most of our team, and you can see they're all very passionate about grazing grazing management. They're uh, pumping pumping the air, um, uh, and that photo, by the way, was actually taken uh, on this property in uh, in December uh, la last year. Um, so our team's pretty excited about um, uh, uh, grazing management, and what we do is we provide technology to make it easier to make better grazing decisions. That's basically what drives us as a company. And so we provide a set of software tools with the aim of making it easier to make better decisions. And as I'll explain in a moment, that's really the main theme for today is about decisions and how to make better decisions. And uh, a good illustration, if I get another slide. There we go. Um, uh, I'll start with the observation that um, if you look at the statistics, they consistently say that the best graziers are much more profitable than, uh, than everybody else. And the underlying reason why the best graziers are, uh, are so much better than, uh, than average is that they're making better decisions. Uh, and so this picture here, I'm not sure how clear it is to see because it's a bit hard to see. The picture here is a great illustration of, of decision making where on the, on the right hand side you've got a, a paddock from one of our customers and on the left hand side uh, is a paddock from uh, their neighbours uh, and you can see how it's responded to the, uh, uh, to the conditions in a totally different way based, based on making a good set of decisions and so today we're going to be talking about how those decisions get made and, and why those um, decisions get made and it, it, isn't, it isn't that they invented a machine that made it rain in a straight line like that, it actually is... Um, uh, better decisions and, <clears throat> uh, and and at the end of the day no amount of grazing management and technology is actually going to make it make it rain and, and we're not claiming that it's going to, that, that, that we can do that and at the end of the day a drought is a drought so this this theme of creating drought resilient farm businesses is really about providing the frameworks to be able to make better decisions because if you uh, if you make better decisions then you'll be able to navigate through those um, harder times with much less suffering and pain and stress. And when the times come better, you'll be able to make more profit than you, than you otherwise would. So in terms of grazing management decisions, there are kind of four facets to any grazing management decision that you uh, need to consider. There's the impacts on people, there's the livestock, there's pasture, and there's the uh, financial implications. And if you make a decision about any one of these four things, it affects the other, it affects the, the other three. And I kind of think this is kind of a nice way of setting the scene for the speakers that we have today because the first, the first speakers, Stu and Maddie uh, and Bart, are really coming at, at things from a, pasture, from a pasture point of view, a pasture management point of view. And so they're talking about decision making in relation to how much feed you've got and how you can help um, match supply and demand. You've, we've got Dave who's going to be talking more about the business and finance impacts of all of those decisions. And then at the end of the day, um, we've got Kit, who's talking much more from a livestock, livestock perspective. But just bear in mind that no matter which of these sort of corners you make decisions in, the, the other three areas are going to be affected by it. And so you'll see through the course of today how they're coming at it from these three different angles. But really the core is grazing management decisions that affect all four of those things. <clears throat> so we at My Technology uh, believe that there are, there are three fundamental steps that you can take towards improved grazing management and setting yourself up for improved grazing management decisions. And we call these three steps the, the grazing journey. And I just wanted to briefly mention them because I think the speakers will be coming back to this sort of framework through the day. Um, so the first step in the, in the grazing journey uh, is getting rid of the paper. Um, if you get rid of the paper and you start to gather your data in a way that can be used digitally, then you can start to use that data to help you make better decisions later on. It's, it is possible to make good decisions on paper, but it's bloody hard work. And what we're trying to do is make it easier to make the good decisions. So the first step is get your data under control, get rid of the paper, get it digitally in, in some way, shape or form. And the second step is to plan and budget your pasture to make sure that you're starting to match supply and demand from a feed point of view and that you're projecting out and forecasting out different scenarios for how that may play out under different conditions, because you don't really know what those conditions are going to be. Am I going to have more rain? Am I going to have less rain? 
So I want to be able to plan out that, uh, that budget position. And then the third and final step is, the third and final step is to dynamically manage your stocking rate according to the conditions that you're experiencing. Because during the good times, you can afford to come on pretty hard and go with a, with a higher stocking rate. During the hard times, you've got to come down so that uh, when, the, when the times turn, you can, you, can, you can come on fast. And so our speakers are going to be talking about this issue of managing stocking rate to the conditions that you're experiencing uh, time and again, and I won't dwell on it here. Um, uh, but they are the three steps. And what I wanted to put out, point out in closing is that we as a company have, have targeted our product range around those three steps. And so we have a product called Migrating Light, which is free, and you can use it for as long as you want to manage a farm, and it basically takes you through the first step. It basically takes care of record keeping, compliance, mapping, uh, tracking your livestock, all that sort of basic stuff. You can have that for free, use it as long as you want, and it'll get you to the first step in the journey. And then the steps two and step three, um, we have a product called My Grazing Pro, um, and it'll take you through the, uh, the whole journey for, from planning, budgeting, forecasting, managing that stocking rate, and helping you make those decisions. It won't make the decisions for you, but it will help you to make those decisions based on the data that, that you captured in, uh, in step one.